So, uh, this is a video, uh, I'm going to show you how to um, quickly format to zero all your hard disk drives. It's going to look kind of like this whilst it's doing it later on. Um, I'm going to do this PC down here and it's going to come up on this monitor. See, I've downloaded Darix Boot and Nuke. Um, and I've also followed a tutorial on pendrivelinux.com, I think, on how to make it into a, a USB bootable device. I'm using a uh, one gigabyte um, drive given to me uh, at a promo event. promotional event. Sorry. Um, so this has been preloaded with Derek's boot and nuke. It would normally run off of a CD. Um, but I'm going to make it boot off the USB. So first things first is uh, obviously to um, plug it in, and it's one of those get it in right on the third try, but uh, second try today. Um, and then we power on the computer. Now each computer will have a different method of um, booting to the BIOS. This one is F12 um, to boot the BIOS's boot device menu. Uh, and as you can see it's registered the USB device. Now I've had a couple of USB devices that don't get recognised but I didn't want to use that drive. Um, sorry, I've had a few devices that aren't recognised but the ones that do get recognised I didn't want to use as a boot disk. So uh, the trick on this particular Dell was to stick the disk drive that gets recognised in to this menu and then swap it out before you press enter. I'm not going to do that. For instance, uh, this is a 128 megabyte, um, also a promotional uh, Dunlop um, drive, which is the right sort of size. However, it doesn't always get recognized by uh, some computers as a bootable device. So I uh, put this one in first, but I decided I was going to use this one for the video. Uh, so we should be at the USB device, and I hit enter, and it'll come to here. Now the quickest way of automatically nuking everything is to use the built-in auto-nuke menu prompt. So we'll just type auto-nuke in at, uh, oh, if I can spell, auto-nuke at the command line. My USB keyboard seems to type three or four times for the same key, never mind. Um, and then there's a trick because uh, because the USB stick will also be wiped obviously to save you from recreating it each time you need to wait f for a specific point before removing um, the USB drive um, so that it doesn't get wiped. Now the trick is to uh, wait for this progress bar and then uh, when it says ready whip out the device and then it should continue to load as you would expect it might take a few moments depending on the equipment this this drive is uh, this this monitor is doing it on a slightly older Dell it's a Optiplex 170 this is a GX 520 uh, it didn't take as long as uh, not as much hardware inside the 170 compared to the 520 and as you can see it'll just poll for everything and then eventually pick up this screen detecting all the devices. If you had more than one device in uh, such as two hard disk drives or you had left the USB key in it would uh, also start wiping that at the same time. Um, it does a simultaneous wipe so it's very useful if you've got three hard disk drives full of all your stuff and you've got the cops knocking on your door um, you can set it wiping quite quickly. Um, not that I condone that sort of behaviour, I've got that PC and that PC and that PC and in here I've got that PC and that PC and they're both wiping and then downstairs in my front room which I'm going to show you I've got that PC to wipe, that PC and that PC are also wiping, uh, the reason why I'm wiping them are because they're computers, oh those ones as well, uh, computers I've rescued from um, the scrap heap basically and I'm, I think they're pretty decent spec to the 520s and I'm going to reuse them, the other PCs I've 
acquired from elsewhere what um, they've not got any of my data on so I'm going to wipe them clean before I use them again um, that's all from me I hope you find this useful uh, subscribe and I'll put more other crap videos up like this one thank you goodbye